I've come across a lot of young people, rather than be people my age or even younger than me, who are pretty much encapsulated and in love with the idea of passive income. They see all these trends on TikTok, on YouTube, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, pretty much every social media platform, and they see people talking about buying vending machines, people making money in their sleep, and they make it seem so practical, so easy, and so simple. Long story short, you spend a little bit of money up front, and you're able to make a lot of money in the back end of it. Right? That's how simple it is, right? Well, I'm sure all of our mothers or people we were raised by taught us this at a young age. If something sounds too good to be true, then nine times out of 10, it probably is. And that fantasy of being able to make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in our sleep doing practically nothing, it's still just another fantasy, another dream being sold to us. Now, passive income and making money were that simple and that sweet, don't you think everybody would be doing it? This wouldn't be such a hack that people are just now hearing about. One of the people been onto this 10, 15, if not 20 years ago, right? Don't get me wrong, passive income is great. It's great, there's no way around it. Passive income is great because there are people and there are situations and opportunities to make a lot of money in your sleep. Pretty much getting paid to do nothing. But there are also a lot of dangers that come with this ideology, this thought process, and even if you manage to pull it off, here are some of the risks and dangers associated with it as well. Cue the intro. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Campbell, and we're at Byte for another video. Now, first and foremost, if this is your first time on my channel, I ask you to do me a quick favor. Please hit that subscribe button as well as turn on that notification bell where you notified any time that I drop some content. And while you're at it, please leave a like down below because the algorithm helps my channel continue to grow and it helps my content be pushed out in front of more and more people. And if this isn't your first time on my channel, I just want to say welcome back to the trenches. It's your boy, Mitch, reporting live and I got some great content for y'all today. Now, first and foremost, passive income is great. Now, you have an opportunity to make just a lot of money and even if it's not a lot of money, it could be $10 here, $20 here, no matter what that is, that's pretty much a free meal. So even if you're making $10 to $20 a day without really having to do regular maintenance on a situation, then hey, that's a free meal every single day, right? Passive income is great. It can make people millionaires, especially when you stack it on top of your already income. So even if you're making a passive income of about a couple of hundred to a couple thousand dollars a month, that added onto your salary, it could also change your lifestyle. It could afford vacation, new vehicles, new homes, new properties, or other investments that you're looking about getting into. It can allow you to make even more money on the back end, especially if you're investing it and moving this money around. We already know passive income is great. We already know, we've seen all the TikToks, we've seen all the people talking about it, but I wanna let you know that passive income maybe isn't as great as you think. If you watched my very first YouTube video I uploaded earlier this year when I really got back on my grind, I talked about my forms of income and how I've been able to make over six figures making money and a lot of that was passive income. Passive income isn't always as passive. Put in a lot of work for no income at all. I'm gonna break it down into layman's terms. Imagine if you're an athlete, you spend your entire life playing a sport for free. If not paying to play the sport, rather than be paying for gear, equipment, practices, training sessions, anything that's gonna help you give you an edge, rather be your diet, your nutrition, you go to college, and you're still not technically being paid, but you're going, you're getting a free education out of it, right? Then you finally go pro and you start making millions and millions of dollars. It's a lot of money, it's life-changing money. But when you really think about it, you've dedicated the last 15 plus years of your life to the sports this game for free. And all that passive income isn't as passive because it's kind of like, you know, it was building up to this point and now it's getting paid for it. That's how I think of passive income. Now, sometimes it can take weeks, it can take months or even years, but passive income is pretty much something that you're doing that at one point in time you were making any money for it, no income whatsoever, and it's built up over time and it's being paid for it. Something you gotta realize about passive income also is that maintenance work is a thousand percent required. Now, they sell this dream, especially nowadays, that you know you don't have to maintenance work, it's only about four hours a week, and if you only spend like an hour or less on it a day, you know, it can continue to grow and bloom, right? Wrong. What they don't tell you is that you end up still sometimes even have to work 60 hours, especially if it's decent money that you're making and it's fairly easy work. You got to understand the competition that's going to be surrounded in this field. You're not going to be that one genius that has an idea that nobody else in the world has ever thought of. So if you're making decent money doing something and it's fairly easy, best believe it's going to be extremely competitive. Think about it like this. Let's say there's a gold mountain and the first person to dis discover these mountains and search all through these mountains finds gold. Well, that person who discovered gold on this particular mountain became a billionaire. And let's say somebody else comes along and they find gold on the same mountain. 
they probably become a millionaire. And the person after them probably makes 100K. And as you see, it's a domino effect. Every person that comes after slowly but surely starts making less and less money. It becomes less rare because after a while, this is no longer such a, like a gold mountain. It's just like, you know, a regular mountain. It becomes oversaturated. You gotta think of passive income and businesses and companies doing the same way. If you're working for a particular business company or you're starting your own thing and you're making fairly decent money, and it's somewhat easy, it's going to be competitive. And, and besides the very first people who are able to become hip to it, Every other person who comes after it gets a smaller piece of the pie. Now when it comes to online business, you always have to be better in yourself. You always have to be continually making yourself better. And it's not even just online business. You think about business in general. If you're not constantly bettering yourself or constantly doing the maintenance work I was talking about, I'm not talking about the simple couple of hours a day. I'm talking about actually putting in time and work to better yourself, make sure that you're staying ahead of the curve and keeping that edge, you're eventually gonna fall off. And all it takes is one to two years of you doing this maintenance work and continue staying in this lazy routine. It can absolutely just kill your business. Another thing we have to consider is the more passive income you're making, the more your lifestyle is going to change. Some of you might be watching this video saying, you know, hey, I would never change. I'm gonna keep the same spending habits and this, this and that, and I'm gonna stay the exact same. I'm just gonna make more money. But if that was the case, then what would be the point of working our butts off, working so hard to put ourselves in such a financial situation and be extremely comfortable? If we're just gonna continue to live the same lifestyle, we're gonna continue to live in the same house, drive the same car, wear the same clothes. What would be the incentive of making more money? So therefore, if your lifestyle changes and you're making more money, but you're also spending more money, now you're becoming reliant upon this passive income. So the one thing that was just like passive that you didn't really need, but it was a big help because it was constantly coming in, now you become dependent upon it. And now it's not so passive, it becomes active income because you're constantly having to work on it to continue to better yourself or that situation so you continue to make that type of money. In other words, passive income is just extremely dangerous. It can make you lazy, it can make you complacent, and it can pretty much kill any hunger or drive that you have because if you're making six figures of passive income, on top of the salary that you already have, what incentive do you have at this point now to really want to continue to work hard because you're pretty much living out your dreams, you're pretty much doing everything you've ever wanted to do and then some. It can completely rob you of all that motivation, makes you forget about why you originally started, what your why was. Now what I talk about a lot is you got to find your why. Why? Why do you want to be great? Why do you want to do what you want to do? Originally, a lot of us do things that we're passionate about. That passion can vary. Like originally, I started playing football because I wanted to buy my mother a house. I wanted to get out the trenches, get out the hood. And I wanted to have a global impact. I wanted to show people who look like me, people who come from similar situations and environments like myself that, you know, hey, no matter what you go through in life, no matter what happens, no matter what your circumstance or situation is, you can eventually make it out. And that's the reason why I got involved in it. But when you're starting to make so much money, you kind of stray away from why you originally started. It can keep you in the wrong niche or it can have you pursue the wrong niches for the wrong reason. If you're in a niche that you're not particularly passionate about, but you see it's extremely lucrative, after you start making a lot of money, you become motivated by that money alone and you, you no longer care about people. You become further disconnected and become more and more motivated about how can I make more money. You start chasing profit and you just forget about the people. True passions in life always don't pay well. And the ones that do pay well, they're extremely hard to come by or actually even to get started in that. So let's think about it like this. A lot of people who are firefighters and police officers and do this type of work, they don't make a whole lot of money. People in the military, they don't make a lot of money, but the reasons for going into it are usually deep and passionate and motivated by something very positive. In the trenches, you grew up, you want to be a rapper. How hard is it to become a rapper? To get actually on that scene and actually be able to make a lot of money. It's extremely hard. The chances of you actually making it as a rapper are, are, are slim because it's just a competitive field and it's very hard to get on. I think about it in the same way of just having your own business or whatever form of passive income that you have. The more money you make, the more times you become motivated by that money and not as much as your impact. You start off talking about one thing, you, you stray away from that just once or twice. A couple of times that you strayed away, those are times you make the most money. Then you become motivated and say, you know what, hey, if I really wanna make it, I gotta talk about this and not that. So the passion stuff that I was passionate about, you know, gets pushed on the back burner and eventually you just become so drawn up and making money, that becomes your new image and your new identity. And you forget why you started or what you came from. Staying ahead of competition is just so hard. Um, let's say, for example, you have this crazy idea that maybe nobody's tackled or thought of in life. And you wanna, as a dog owner, you wanna create or develop some type of product that helps your dogs lose weight. And it's something that nobody's ever thought of or even tried, attempted at this point. So you do that, you can't actually be successful at it. And even if it's uncompetitive at the time, but it's a great idea, 
You can't do this successfully and become the greatest or the best passively. You can't do that while partying, while getting high, while getting drunk. You can't do that while pursuing men or women or relationships and doing different things and just having your mind all over the place. Even if this is passive income, you've got to work extremely hard at it and you've got to be diligent at it because going about it passively will not allow you to be as great as you could be. Therefore, is there even a such thing as passive income? You can't lead great teams passively. You can't have a solid customer base or support ship passively. You can't create real reason, meaning, or passion in your life passively. So I hope the message of this video doesn't get like misconstrued or some of my example. I hope it doesn't get watered down or just lost in the sauce in the sense where you get confused in what I'm talking about in terms of passive income. No passive income is ever as passive as we think it is and it's never as easy as they make it seem. Anything in this life that's in a sense passive requires a lot of work and at one point in time you're doing it for free and eventually, like I said, it gets paid for. It. As a closing thought, remember this. If you wanna make a lot of money for free and you wanna do great things while putting the least amount of work in possible, I don't know what professional career there is out there really for you. We've talked about it in numerous videos before. Laziness will never ever get you to where you wanna be in life. Remember, there's no such thing as real passive income and it's a great term that we like to throw around and it is, in a sense, a real thing. But if you ever want to be great, especially starting off businesses, I don't know anybody who starts off a business and has in mind that it's going to just be passive. Like, I just want to start off this passive company. When Steve Jobs and all these people decided to originally get into what they were doing, they didn't decide to get into it as a passive income or a passive hobby. And even if it was a hobby, eventually it became so big and so great and so successful, it required a lot of time, effort, and patience. If you enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, you found it informative or entertaining, please do me a favor. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button as well as turn on that notification bell where you're notified anytime that I drop some content. And while you're at it, please leave a like down below. It helps the algorithm, it helps my channel continue to grow, and it pushes my content out in front of more and more people. With that being said, I just want to say thank y'all for tuning in, continue to watch my videos, continue to show me so much love. I love those who love me. I'm going to catch y'all back at the next video.